Good evening. Oh, good afternoon, sorry. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. How are you guys? Okay, okay, okay. It's all okay? Yes, and you? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm ready for today. This is our class number 14. Well, I will pass. I will start by passing the attendance. Just give me a second. I want to connect my computer. My wrong sounds. Battery. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome. I will pass passing the ten. I will start passing the attendance. Okay. Welcome everybody. Good afternoon. This is our class number 14. I will pass attendance, please. And help me out saying right present. So now you listen to your names. First, Ana Emperatriz. Ana Maria. Ana Mercedes. Present. Yeah. Yeah. Present. Carmen. Present. Thanks. Daniela. Present teacher. Yeah, Edith. Present teacher. Yeah. Present. Edma. Edma. Present teacher. Yeah. Esmeralda. Present. Thanks. Person. Present. Yeah. Ever. Present. Thank you. It is Regina. It is Rosario. Present. Thank you. Jose. Jose. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose. Maria Julia. Marvin. Present teacher. Okay. William. Hi, teacher. Okay. Eh, Reina. Reina. Present. Okay. Ricardo. Carlos, right here. Royer. Rosta. Sandra. Present. Yo, Sara. Present. Okay. Walter. Present. And Jennifer. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, we'll get out. I can see Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Stephanie. Let's see. Well, so we'll join, join us a moment ago. Let me join us a poquito. Creo que somos todos. Sí, okay. Well, uh, good afternoon, everybody. This is our class number 14. What about to finish by the, the course, the module, which is beginner two. Tuesday, April 5th, 2022, class number 14. The topic for today is simple present WH questions. We're going to focus on WH questions, right? Okay. Um, but before I continue, I just want to remind you about the, the, the activities that you, you know, you need to complete, right, uh, during these days. Uh, good afternoon, Ricardo. Ricardo, por un momento. Bueno, uh, uh, thank you. Good afternoon. How are you, Ricardo? Uh, 
I hope you're good. I hope you're good. Well, let's start with here, right? You know, we're about to finish and we need to compute, right? We need to complete the platform. So if you haven't finished, please go on. Go on, right? You have some time. Por favor, quiero iniciar acá. Ustedes saben, ¿verdad? He estado actualizando el control de notas y veo que hemos avanzado mucho. Bueno, algunos, pero la mayoría, quizás ya finalizó. Eh, solo un, para un par de, de participantes que, que hacen falta. Recuerden que tenemos hasta mañana. Eh, incluso para la sección, hasta la sección 5, ¿verdad? Y el examen final. Ayer lo expliqué yo y les decía que lo, lo hiciéramos ahora de preferencia para no tener ningún inconveniente. Repito, eh, esta semana finalizamos el jueves. Eh, con el módulo, no sé, C clase, ¿verdad? Y la sección de la sección de la plataforma. Entonces, hay que completar si nos hemos quedado, por ejemplo, que no hemos completado la plataforma, hay que verificar, es muy importante verificar cada sección, como lo mencionaba en las clases anteriores, ¿verdad? Eh, si es posible, veámonos a la sección 1 otra vez, sección 2, ¿verdad? Le recomiendo que hagamos eso, para, a veces se nos olvide, se nos... Dejamos pasar un, un ejercicio, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que podamos verificar de que se ha completado cada sección. Y claro, por supuesto, ahorita estamos en la sección 5 y el examen final, ¿verdad? Que ya lo estoy explicando para que eh, lo completemos, ¿verdad? Completemos todo. Mañana es el último día para completar las, la sección completa todo, las cinco secciones, y lo, ¿verdad? el midterm que ahora hicimos, ¿verdad? Y el examen final que nos hace falta. De ahí completamos. Cada el jueves, pues es la última clase, normal, clase normal, y ya nos quedamos, ¿verdad?, tranquilos. Ya, pues, terminando ya la clase, se puede eso, nos quedaría pendiente. Y, bueno, claro, asegurar, pero también el control de asistencia. Conectarnos. Así es que eso sería básicamente, eh, se les hizo recordatorio, ¿verdad?, ayer, bueno, todas las clases, ¿verdad?, se les ha estado haciendo recordatorio, también por WhatsApp. De, de parte de las autoridades también, ¿verdad? Les han estado eh, recordando, incluso lo hicieron hace un par de horas, si no me equivoco. Se hizo este recordatorio, así es que, por favor, eh, eh, completemos. Ya son pocos los que faltan. Hay que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Todavía hay tiempo, mañana. No sé si hay preguntas en general. Estamos muy bien. No, teacher. No, ok. ¿Alguien más? ¿Preguntas? No. No, teacher. Okay. Bueno, entonces creo que estamos bien. Eh, solamente eso para, ¿verdad? Ir finalizando y poder eh, no tener ningún inconveniente, ¿verdad? Más adelante. Es que hay que completar. Con eso me quedo y vamos a la clase. Eh, well, today we're going to talk about simple present values questions. Okay, we're going to eh, talk about this, you know, one more time. Eh, I want to focus on questions specifically with a simple present, right? We have seen uh, the simple present, right? The simple present tense with the affirmative, negative, and question, right? Questions, those forms. Uh, we'll focus on this one, the simple present all these questions. All right, this is our class number 14. Let's begin. Well, this is the way, guys, we make questions, right? Um, This is the structure that we follow, right? We use a WS word. WS word. We use do or does. Do or does. These are the auxiliary verbs, right? Auxiliary verbs. We use the subject plus a verb. The verb is in the base form, right? Because it's a question. And the complement with the question mark. Don't forget the question mark, please. 
Okay. So with WH questions, remember as we saw in the previous classes, with WH questions, you get the right long answers. Long answers. Right? Let me see, I can see all the participants. Oh, good afternoon, Anna Imperatis. Thank you. Hi, it teacher. Is, thank you. It is Regina, I can see you too. Excuse me, I have the problem with my computer in the inter. I in have the, the connect, yeah, I mean, with my computer, me too. Okay, I got you, no problem. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Sí, vi por ahí su mensaje, creo que sí era verdad. Sí, acabo de descargar el, el Zoom en el teléfono para poder conectarme aquí por... Oh, ok, ok. It's okay, no problem, thank you. Ok. Well, I can see that Roger is connecting. Roger se está conectando. Hello, Roger, good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Thanks, how are you? Fine, and you? Awesome. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. In a second, I'm just verifying something. Okay, let's continue. We are starting. The topic for today is simple present a WH questions, right? That's all we have for today. Okay, uh, just give me a second. I'm very fine that, oh, I can see Rosa. Yeah, Rosa, good afternoon. Welcome. Buenas tardes, teacher. Thank you, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm okay, thank you. Well, this is the topic for today. Simple present all these questions. For class number 14, we have a starter. This is the way you construct questions with WH questions, WH words, right? In a simple present. This is the structure that we follow. We use a WH word first, WH word. We use do or does next, right? This is the auxiliaries. These are called auxiliary verbs. Class subject, class number, which is in the base form, plus a complement and the question mark. And that is the way we construct questions uh, in the simple present, right? And we have, as you can see, different examples, right? What sports do you play? Who do you play baseball with? Do you play? How often do you practice? When do you practice? What time do you start? I have different questions and we can identify right different Dalit words. Uh, do you remember the Dalit words, guys? The Dalit words? What Dalit words do you remember? Who, what? Who, what? When, where, where, when. when. Why? 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 <laughs> what time? How? How? Oh. Oh. Which? Oh, okay. Which? Very good. Which? Those are the dullest words, right? And every dullest word has a purpose, right? Has a purpose. Cada una de esas palabras tiene un propósito, right? Good afternoon, oh. teacher. Good afternoon. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Okay, thank you too. Oh, is that you, right, Maria Julia? Yeah. I got confused. I, I thought it was Esmeralda. Okay. You? Well, we're talking about simple, simple present knowledge questions, right? This is the way you construct or you make a question, right? A simple present. We use a dollar word, do or does, plus subject, plus the verb, which is in the base form, and this is a complement. We have different dollar words, right? I just said what, who, why, where, when, which, 
what time, how often, how, etc. In every W's word has a purpose. When do we use who? When do we use who? Can. Exactly. In English, we use it for people. Remember, people. For people. When do we use what? Okay. Yeah, yeah. What means, uh, you know, what is used for uh, activities, actions, etc., right? That is the purpose. When? Cuando. Cuando. Yeah, tell me in English, tell me in English. Don't speak, don't speak Spanish. Uh, when is? Only. When, for time. Time. For time. Okay. In English, time. Time. Where? Places. 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 Place. Places. Places. Why? Why? Reasons. Reasons. Yeah, reasons, explanations. For example, if you say, right, I want to study English because I want, I would like to get more job opportunities, right? That is a reason because I would like to get more job opportunities. What time? What time? What time? What do we use it? Time, tiempo, time? For time, exactly, time, very good. Uh, how often, when you say always, usually, never? Frequency. Exactly, the frequency of the activities, right? The frequency of the activities. How? When do we use how? Eh, ¿Me escuchan todos? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. En el caso de Esmeralda no me escucha. Pero acá la veo. Probablemente tiene problemas ahorita con el audio, ¿verdad? Con, con la conexión. Acá no sé, bueno, la verdad no me va a escuchar, creo yo. ¿Can you hear me, Esmeralda? Let's see, okay. How, when do we use how? Feelings. Sorry? You say feelings? Um, things, also. Oh, things, but, but if you say things, refer to what? And adjectives. What? Adjectives, yeah, feelings. Ways to do, to do something, right? Ways to do something, eh, como hacer algo, por ejemplo. How, which? Choices. Choices, exactly, or options, right? Options, options or choices, very good. That is the way we use, you know, the WH words. Don't forget the purposes, please. Don't forget the purposes. No olvidemos el propósito de cada una de esas palabras. And you have to pay attention to the question, right? Pay attention to the question. Hay que prestar bastante atención, ¿verdad? A las preguntas. Nos hacen cada una, ¿verdad? De ellas, que y luego responder con base en eso, okay? For example, eh, what sports do you play, right? What sports do you play? What sports do you play? Ah, okay, I play hockey and baseball. I play soccer and basketball. Another possibility, what sports does your brother play? What sports does your brother play? This is the WS war, right? We have a combined, right? A combined WS word. In this case, it's a combined word. Sports. That is a WS word. Yeah, let's say, right? This is a noun. This is a noun. We have the auxiliary does. 
your brother is a subject, and this is a verb. In this case, we don't have a complement, right? We don't have a complement. It's okay. What sports does your brother play? What sports does your brother play? He plays soccer and basketball. He plays soccer and basketball. Right? What? What sports? What sports? Soccer and basketball. Soccer and basketball. Okay, this is the first possibility, right? We use what for activities, things, actions, etc. What is for such a brother play? My brother or he plays soccer and basketball. Okay, for example, mm, let me see. Um, Sandra, do you have brothers? Uh, yes. Okay. What does, listen, listen. What does your brother play? What, sorry, what is sports does your, bro, does your brother play? What is sports does your brother play, Sandra? Uh, he plays, uh, um, le gusta uh, basketball, soccer, and volleyball. Okay, nice. Yes, Sandra. And let me see. Marvin, do you have brothers? Yes. Okay, what is first does your brother does your brother play? Mm. He plays. Soccer, um, um, por decir otra cosa, soccer and tennis, realmente, no, no, no practican deporte. Hmm. Okay, you can say he plays soccer, right? It's okay, it's okay. Very good. Uh, Maria Julia, do you have brothers or sisters? Brother, teacher. Brother, okay, what, what sports does your brother play, Mane William? He plays soccer, teacher. Soccer, okay, nice. Well, this is the, the purpose of the, the first question, what, what, what sports? Soccer, basketball, uh, volleyball, baseball, etc. okay? What? Any questions? 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 Teacher. Yeah. Uh, patinaje artístico, ¿cómo se diría? Sorry. Patinaje artístico. Sobre hielo, perdón, patinaje sobre hielo. Oh, okay, sorry. You can say go ice skating. Go ice skating. Go ice skating. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, let's go with another example, another question. Remember what? What sports does your brother play? Or what sports do you play? Right? Another possibility. We have where, right? Where does he play? Right? Imagine that we're continuing, we continue talking about your brother, right? Your brother or another person, your father, your friend, etc. Right? And now we, we will ask, you know, where does he play? Where does he play? When do we use where? When do we use where? Place. For a place. Yeah. Exactly, for a place. So listen to the question now. Where does he play? Where does he play? 
We can say, right, my brother or he plays at the university. At uh, the university, that is a place, at uh, the university, right? Where does he play? He plays at the university, right? So now the question is different. And we answer, yeah, of course, in a different way, different way. Uh, for example, if I ask, let me see. Um, Rosa, uh, do you have brothers or sisters? Sister. Oh, sisters, okay. Uh, where does your sister play? Or play, play sports, let's say in general. Where does your sister play sports? She plays? She plays at the, um, let's say, Cancha oh, okay, you can say, you can say she plays in a soccer field, for example, a soccer field. She plays in a volleyball. Ah, in a volleyball, okay. In a volleyball, volleyball. in a volleyball field, this okay. Field. Field. Field, yeah. Field. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Let me see. We oh, yeah. do you have brothers and sisters? Uh no teacher. No. Okay. In your case, where do you play sports? With you? Where do you play sports? I play? Uh, I play soccer. And basketball at the uh, school. A school, okay, a school. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Let me see. Edma, where do you play sports? Where do you play sports? I play. I play, I play soccer at Cafe Talon. Oh, okay, Cafe Talon, okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good place. Thank you. Let me see. Let me try with somebody else. Yeah, Sara, where do you play? Where do you play sports? Where do you play sports? I play. He plays at soccer. At sorry. So so soccer. Ah, at a soccer field. At a soccer field. Uh, listen to the question one more time, Sarah. Where do you play? Where do you play sports? I'm not saying where does your brother play or what does he play. I'm saying where do you play? Where, where do you play? Where do you play? I, you say I play? Uh, soccer. Okay, I play soccer at a, at a field, right? You can say at a field. At a field. Yes. But again, I play soccer at a field. I play soccer at a field. Field, okay. Very okay. good, thank you. That is another question, guys. Where do you play or where does he play? Where does your brother play? Where does your sister play, right? We ask for places, for places. Very good. Questions over here? Preguntas? Teacher, one yes. question. Uh, I say that, eh, por ejemplo, quiero decir, este, a él le gusta o él practica natación en tal lugar, ya no uso play o, o ya no aplica esta pregunta. Mm. ¿Alguien la idea? ¿Alguien la idea? Eh, por ejemplo, como aquí estamos, va, where do you have play? Eh, lo que él practica, pero en el caso de que si él practica, por ejemplo, en su escuela natación, ¿siempre esta misma pregunta para dar esa respuesta? ¿O esta misma forma de dar la respuesta? ¿O en ese caso, cómo sería? Por lo que nos estaba enseñando ayer de go y todo esto. 
Well, the question would be different. Uh, for example, what is force to your practice? And I can, you can say, right, I practice uh, or I go swimming if you want. I practice or I go swimming. The swimming at school. Oh, just like this right here, right? Because we, the question is, what sports do you practice? I practice or I go swimming. You cannot say play okay. swimming. You cannot say play swimming. No podemos decir play swimming. Tiene que ser go uh -huh. swimming. Ajá, so por eso que tenía la duda por lo que explicó ayer usted. Uh -huh. So the question is different. What okay. sports do you practice? Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, another question. Again, we follow the structure. And the question now is, who does he play with? Who does he play with? So now we're asking for, what is the purpose of who? What is the purpose of who? Person. A person, right? We're looking for a person. Who does he play with? Or who do you play baseball with? If you want to be more specific, right? Who does he play with? We continue, right, with my brother. My brother, okay? Well, Esmeralda, creo que tiene un problema siempre, no me escucha. ¿Me escucha, Esmeralda? Sí, todavía tiene un problema. Bueno, esperamos que pueda solucionar el problema, si no, pues, voy a recomendar que pueda haber la grabación después. Ok, who does he play with? He plays with some friends. Some friends, that's the answer, right? With some friends, they make teams. They make teams. That is compliment, right? That is compliment. Eso sería ya complementario. He plays with some friends. Some friends. Who? Who with? I mean, who does he play with? With some friends. That is the way. Okay. One more time. Is this clear? Someone being a second. Example, let me see. Um, Andrea, who do you play sports with? Who do you play sports with? I play with. Andrea, who do you play sports with? I play with soccer. Mm, listen to the question. Who do you play sports with? Who? No what? Who? We're asking for people, Andrea. I play with my brother, for example. So my sister. Okay, I play with my sister. Very good. Very good. I play with my sister. Thank you. Hey, Every who do you, who do you play sports with? I play with. My friends, my friends, okay, yeah, very good. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, si quieres, si quieres ir con mis con mis amigos sería I will play with my friends, pero si quieres ir con mis compañeros de universidad. Oh, okay. You can say with my uh, my classmates. You can say classmates. If you want to be more specific, you can say with my university classmates. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. 
Let me see. Let's continue with all the participants. Um, Daniela, who do you play sports with? Daniela? Can you hear me? I guess she's having some issues. Ah, oh, okay. If you have some problems with the audio, you can help us in the chat. Si tienen problemas con el audio o posiblemente con el micrófono, pueden compartir en el chat, please. Daniela, please. Who do you play sports with? Teacher, teacher. ¿Ese también, puedo, también puede decir así como un deporte en específico, así como I play basketball with my brother. Yes, you can. Oh. Very good. You can. Yeah, oh, okay. That's a good observation, right? Good. I said it's sports because it's in general, right? It's in general. But if you want to be more specific, as Carlos said, right? For example, who do you play basketball with? You can. You can. It's valid, man. I play basketball with my university classmates. Right? Very good. Who do you play basketball with, Ricardo, by the way? Who do you play basketball with, Ricardo? And my brother, with my brother. Okay. Repeat again. I play basketball with my brother. I play basketball with my brother. Yep. Okay. Very nice. Okay, let me see. We will try with somebody else. Walter, who do you play sports with? Who do you play I, sports with? Sorry. I play with my family. With your family? My brother, yeah. my nephew. Your nephew. Nice. Okay. Okay, this is another possibility, right? Another question. Let me give you another one. For example, if I say when, right? When does he practice? Or when do you practice? When do you practice soccer? I practice soccer in the afternoon, for example. Or I practice soccer on Sundays. When do we use when? When do we use when? When do we use when? For time. For time, exactly. So if I say, when does he practice? When does your brother practice? We can say right he practices on weekends. He practices on weekends, right? If you want to be more specific, you can do it, right? If you're asking for a, you know, a, a sport, when do you practice, for example, a soccer? You say right, okay, I practice soccer on Saturdays, right? That is the way. When do you practice sports, tell me? I will say in general, right? In general. What do you what do you practice sports? I practice sports on Sundays, for example. Right? Let me see. We will listen to some participants. When do you practice sports? Carmen? When do you practice sports? Um, I, pra I practice uh, aerobic in the night. At night. At night. At night. At night. Okay. Good. Thank you. You can say, um, Carmen, I practice aerobics every day at night. Every day at night. Yeah. Very good. Let me try other participants, right? I have listened to some people. Hey, Reina, when do you practice sports? When do you practice sports? Practice sports? I, I practice a sport on Sunday in the morning. Okay, on Sunday morning. On Sunday morning. Very good. Thank you. And who else? Let's see who else. Hey, Stephanie, when do you practice sports, Stephanie? 
when when do you practice sports Stephanie In separate some issues. Uh, Jose, when do you practice sports, Jose? Okay. When do you practice sports? Well, I think I think she's having some issues. But let me talk with somebody else. Um Edith, when do you practice sports? Um, I practice a, a run now. Sorry? Uh, I practice a run every day at the morning. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So you can say in that case, uh, Edith, you can say, I go running. I go running. I go running. Ah, okay. What was, what was the time? Sorry? In what moment? I go running. I will run it every day at uh, morning. Ah, okay. Every day in the morning. Okay, very good. Yes, very good. <laughs> this is another way you can express, right, the, 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 the ideas, right? Uh, if someone asks you, right, when do you practice sports? If you want to be like, specific, you can say, I go I go running every day in the morning. Podemos hacer esos cambios, ¿verdad? Porque en general, practice sports. Queremos ser más específico, ¿verdad? I go running, for, for example, every day in the morning, you can do it. Yeah. It, it's, not, it's not good to say I practice running, right? No se escucha bien, I practice running. So I would recommend it to say I go running. De un solo, ¿verdad? Un solo. Okay. Uh, well, any questions, guys? These are basically the questions. We have some others like... How often, right? How often do you practice? How often do you practice sports? You can say, right? We practice once or twice a week. Once, sorry, once or twice a week. Once or twice a week. Once or twice a week. Okay. How often we ask for the frequency of the activities? From how often we ask for the frequency of the activities? That is the purpose. And we have what time, right? What time do you start, for example? What time do you start? We're asking for time. And you say, okay, I will, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning. We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. At 10 o'clock in the morning, right? So we're asking for time. These are simple present doubtless questions. Do you have any doubts or interrogations? Preguntas, dudas, comentarios? Good. Uh, uh, we practice one or twice a week, one or two veces por semana. Pero por yeah. qué para decir dos veces twice and the two, one or two. Oh, okay. Because that is a way. I mean, in English, we don't tend to say two times or one time. They exist, but they are not common. So we tend to say once a week. And the other one, two times a week. Let's we'll say twice a week. So these are the most common, once a week and twice a week. Estos este, también se usan, ¿verdad? Pero no son tan comunes. Decimos once a week and twice a week. And then, of course, you can, you can use, right? You can start like three times a week, right? Four times a week. In this case, yeah, we say in that way. Acá sí ya se dice esa forma, ¿verdad? Solo las dos primeras formas son diferentes. We say once a week and twice a week. Excuse me, teacher, I have the question. Yeah. Is it do, uh, they say, uh, I practice profit or I go profit every day in the afternoon? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, you can say I practice CrossFit, but you can say I do CrossFit. Okay. Give me two. 
Yeah, two of the two forms. Forms. Okay. I do or I practice. It's okay. Because CrossFit is a different, you know, sport, right? It doesn't it doesn't finish with ING. And um, well, this is not a specific right? all sport. Right? En ese caso sería con duda, ¿verdad? Porque no es un, un, un deporte en sí de cualquiera, ¿verdad? O les hago una pelota, etc. Para decir play, right? play. Igual para decir go, no se puede utilizar porque no es ING. You can say do CrossFit. Yeah. Ok. Eh, somebody else, questions? Preguntas? We're going to practice. Sorry? Oh, it's been all day. It's okay. Now you can listen to me, right? Eh, si tiene dudas o preguntas, háganmelo saber, Esmeralda. Ya nos puedes ¿verdad? escuchar. Y eh, cualquier cosita, ¿verdad? Pregúnteme eh, por chat, claro, porque no puedo utilizar el micrófono ahorita. Menciona. Es que lo puede hacer por chat para su presentación. Eso no puede utilizar su micrófono. Eso es verdad en general. Si alguien no puede utilizar el micrófono, no puede utilizar el chat. Please. Okay, what do we have to do? We're going to complete the conversation with questions. Then compare with the, with the class, right? That's okay, with the class. We have listened the conversation and we have the responses, right? The answers. You have to focus on the answers. And based on the answers, you have to construct the question, right? Construct the question. Okay? Vamos a eh, prestar atención a las respuestas. Las respuestas son la clave acá. Después de la respuesta, vamos a construir la pregunta. Okay. ¿Cuáles son las respuestas? So those are the, the, I mean, the, the ones that we have in letter B. B, 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 and B. Those are the answers or the questions. Okay. Number one is given. It says, the, the answer said, I like a lot of, a lot of sports. But I really love volleyball. What is the question? What sports do you like? What sports do you like? Okay. We're going to focus on this, right? I like. That is the answer. I like a lot of sports. But I really like, love, sorry, volleyball. What sports do you like? Right? We're, we're mentioning things, right? Things and actions. So that's what you have to do with the other ones, right? Number two, number three, four and five. Oh, we have just four, right? One, two, three, four and five. Sorry, five. Question? Stephanie? Did you ask Stephanie? Okay. Uh, any questions, guys, about the exercises? We're going to complete this in your notebooks. You have to pay attention to the questions, right? Sorry, the answers. Hay que prestar atención a las respuestas y con base en eso hay que construir las preguntas. Okay? If it is, for example, time, if it is frequency of activities, places, etc. Okay? Questions? Let me help you with number two, and then I will give you some time with the other ones, right? Number two says, I usually play with my sister and some friends. How, what is... How often? How? Okay. The question is... How? How often... How often... Oops. Do you play, play with, with your sister and your sister. friends? Yeah, how often do you play with your sister and friends? I usually, that is the answer, right? I usually play with my sister and friends. And some friends. Do you know that we can have different responses? Sabemos que podemos tener diferentes respuestas en este caso. Perdón, diferentes preguntas. Puede variar. Otra opción sería, listen, who you usually uh, play with? 
Esa sería otra posibilidad. Si lo requiere, se puede, ¿verdad? Si lo requiere la, la respuesta, se puede preguntar de dos formas, por ejemplo. La primera no lo requiere. Estamos hablando de likes. La segunda, si es posible. How often do you play with your sister and friends? I usually play. That is the answer. I usually. And the other one, who do you usually play with? I usually play with my sister and some friends. Acá lo requiere. Se puede preguntar de estas dos formas. Okay. Questions? Preguntas? For me, no, teacher. Eh, no escucho a los demás. No sé si tienen preguntas. Any question, teacher. Good, ok. Yes, I uh, have a question, please. Tell me. Ok, I am going to speak in Spanish. Ok. En la segunda, si la respuesta es. Yo usualmente juego con mi hermana y algunos amigos. La pregunta no sería, who do you, like, who do you play with? Eh, yes and no. If you answer, eh, I usually play, it's because you're asking for the frequency of the activity. How often do you play with your sister and friends? I usually, right? I usually. That is a frequency of activity. But if you want to ask for people, you use who? Who do you usually play with? With my sister and friends. That's it. Va a depender del contexto. Del contexto. Si la persona nos pregunta acerca de la frecuencia de la actividad, how often? How often do you play with your sister and friends? Pero si la persona nos pregunta acerca de las personas con las que usted juega, who do you usually play with? Va a variar. En ese caso nos faltó, ¿verdad? Ahí quizás me faltó, hubiera, hubiera eh, yo subrayado la palabra, quizás la, la respuesta, por decirlo así. Ahí se me olvidó a mí, lo hubiera hecho para que ustedes identificaran. Pero a mí me gustaría que identificaran si hay casos posibles, ¿verdad? Es decir, si podemos preguntar de dos formas, como en ese caso. En la primera no se puede mucho porque estamos hablando de likes. What is sports you like? Es una pregunta en general. Acá sí se puede porque es algo específico, ¿verdad? Puede ser actividad o posiblemente con quién se juega. ¿Ok? ¿Does it make sense? No sé si aclara su duda, Walter. Es que la pregunta dos sería qué tan a menudo, qué tan mm, a menudo. No, no exactly. How often? Con quién juega la bueno la primera sí, no, bueno creo que me confundí, me confundí. Es así, exacto, la frecuencia. I usually play. Esa es la respuesta. I usually play. Esa es la respuesta. And the second one, who do you usually play with? This is the answer. For my sister and some friends. No sé si se comprende. Okay. How often do you play with your sister and friends? I usually, I usually play with my friend, from my sister, sorry, with my sister. And friends. The answer is this one. How often? I usually. And the other one, who do you usually play with? I usually, I usually play with my sister and friends. Oops. Who? Who with? And I say with my sister and friends. This is the answer. Esa es la variación. Va a depender del contexto. Contexto. Les estoy dando, ¿verdad?, otras alternativas para que ustedes 
tengan una idea de cómo preguntan, ¿verdad? Las diversas preguntas que puedan existir. Con la misma respuesta incluso acá, ¿verdad? Soy con la misma. Dígame. But the two question eh, is correct. Uh, con yeah, cualquiera yeah. de las dos preguntas va a ser correcta la, la pregunta. O sea, cualquiera de las dos va a ser correcta para contestar, eh, para contestar de esa manera. Yes, yes, both are correct. Uh, okay. Ambas son correctas. Eh, acá lo que faltó, ¿verdad? Lo repito, es lo, que lo que faltó es eso, que no... Pero tendría que haber subrayado quizás la, la palabrita o la respuesta para que ustedes se enfocaran en eso. Pero bueno, lo, lo que pretendo es eso, ¿verdad? Que ustedes, si la, la pregunta o la, bueno, la respuesta lo requiere, eh, preguntar de dos formas es posible. La segunda, por ejemplo, si sí se puede. La tercera, no. Con Saturdays, that is the answer, right? That is the answer. Ustedes van a completar, pero quisiera saber si se aclara la duda. Uh, everybody, Walter? It's all clear. Nice. Okay, please continue with number three, four, and five. Let's pay attention to the answers, please. I will give you a few minutes. Si la pregunta, repito, perdón. Si la respuesta lo requiere, podemos obtener dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Dos posibles preguntas. Va a depender, repito, del contexto. La última, por ejemplo, en la última van ustedes a identificar solamente una posible pregunta. Una posible pregunta. Solamente una. En la segunda es posible la todo, ¿verdad? Se, depende del contexto. Y quien nos pregunta, claro, también. De ahí con las demás, con la tercera, la cuarta y la quinta, sí es una pregunta, solo una pregunta. Okay. We'll do something. We're going to answer the, we're going to consult the questions, right? Discuss the answers uh, right now, right? You will help with the questions. You to you know to identify the questions, right? Uh, for example, number three, it says, right? Listen, listen to the answer. We we'll practice on Saturdays. What is the question? Um I think how often when? do you practice? Okay. How often do you practice? When do you practice? I listen to someone that say when. When do you practice? When do you practice, okay? Good, I have two possibilities, right? How often and when. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is when. When do you practice? Because we have a time. What is the, the time or the date? I mean, the, the, the day on Saturday. When do you practice? On Saturday, on Saturdays. We practice on Saturdays. That is the question. When? Okay. Okay, number four, it says, 
We start at about noon. What time? What time do you start? Yeah, yeah. I like it, I like it. What time do you do you start? What time do you start? At about noon. Or at 12, right? At 12 o'clock. Very good. And the last one, we usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. What sport where, do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? What sport do you play? Good. Another possibility? I like it, I like it. Yeah, in this case, the answer is, where do you play, right? Where do you play? Because we have places, right? In our jar and at the beach. At the beach. So it's a place. Places, places. Where do you play? We play or we usually play in a jar. But sometimes we play at the beach. That's why. Okay, so these are the responses, guys, for the questions. What is first you like is the first one, right? Okay, let me share the responses in the chat. Any questions, everybody? Preguntas? Is the topic clear? So I'll be going to the demo. ¿Cómo podríamos saber cuándo es how often or when? Ah, okay, good. Let me give an example. For example, how often do you play soccer? And when do you play soccer? We have the, the semi sport, right? The semi sport, but a different question. Uh, for this question, we ask for the frequency of the activity. And for this one, we ask for, uh, let's say the time of day that you, you know, play the sport, right? You play the sport, time of day. I can say, right? I uh, always play soccer with my friends. How often? Always, always. That is the frequency of activity, right? Every day, every day, we play soccer. And when do you play soccer? Time of day? I can say I play soccer on weekends. On weekends. But the answer is when? When? On weekends. That is the way. Most of the times with how often we tend to use adverbs of frequency. Con el how often utilizamos la mayor parte del tiempo los adverbios de frecuencia. Always, usually, never, sometimes. And we tend to use, you know, some ideas like I play soccer eh, twice a week, for example. Twice a week. Twice a week. Twice a week expresses a frequency of an activity. Esa expresión ¿verdad? nos denota in this case, we express as, you know, days, right? We express days, dates, etc. días, Días específicos, perdón. Posiblemente hora, ¿verdad? Horas también. That is the way. Okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, guys. Uh, anybody else questions? No question. No. Quiero enviarles unos durante el, la tarde, tarde noche. Les voy a enviar unos ejercicios, unas preguntas para que ustedes identifiquen qué tipo de pregunta es, verdad? Igual, igual que ese ejercicio. Se los voy a enviar durante el tarde noche. Hacemos ahí atentos para que ustedes puedan, verdad, completar el ejercicio. Eh, esa parte, verdad? Aparte, es un ejercicio aparte. Esa línea también. Para que ustedes solo puedan ¿verdad? darle clic al link y puedan completar. ¿okay? Para que practiquen más. Igual les recomiendo que practiquen con las preguntas. Hagan preguntas, respuestas. Preguntas, respuestas. De esa forma. Varíen. Varíen con las palabras WS words. What, where, when, why, who, what time, how often. 
etc. ¿okay? Para que puedan practicar. Vamos a quedar hasta acá por el tiempo. No sé si alguien más tiene alguna pregunta. No, chévere, está no. bien. Okay. Good. Well, guys, uh, this is all for today. Thank you for your time. Uh, have a good day. Enjoy it. Uh, stay healthy and safe. Blessings and peace. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Blessings. Bye-bye. See, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Thank you for everything.